Today we're making Tuscan salmon and I can't wait to show you how easy it is. Pan seared salmon in amazing Parmesan cream sauce with sun-dried tomatoes and spinach. It is a huge crowd pleaser and it's so easy to make. But before I get too far, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for everyday recipes you can make easily at home. I think it's important to talk about the name. Tuscan salmon is not really a recipe that comes from Tuscany, but it uses all the flavors that is commonly associated with that region of Italy. So we're using sun-dried tomatoes, that's really vibrant, spinach, uh, cream sauce, Parmesan cheese, all the delicious flavors together for a recipe that is proven to be very, very popular. So for this recipe, we're using four salmon filet pieces. It's obviously for four people, so if you are cooking for two or three or seven, then adjust accordingly. Um, so when you get your salmon, often it comes a little bit wet. And that obviously is not great when you're trying to fry because it just starts to steam instead of fry. So what you need to do first is to pat your salmon pieces dry with um, paper towel before you season it with salt and pepper. So let's do this. So we're going to fry salmon in a little bit of olive oil. And I'm adding about a tablespoon of butter as well for flavor. Just let this heat before you add salmon. So place your salmon in the pan, skin side up. If you hear this sizzle, that means that your pan is hot enough and that's what you need. So once your salmon is golden on one side and we're gonna look up, that's good. We're gonna flip it on the other side and continue searing at high heat. So what we're doing here, we're just searing um, our salmon on both sides. We're not actually cooking it all the way through. So we just needed a little bit of that golden crust on the outside. So once the salmon is seared on both sides, we're going to remove it to a separate plate. At this point, it's not cooked all the way through and that's okay. Okay, so uh, now I'm gonna start on the sauce. And what's really important right now is to lower the heat quite a bit because we were uh, frying the salmon on really high heat and now we need to lower it so we, do, we don't burn the garlic and sun dried tomatoes that go in next. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more oil. Okay, now we're gonna start on the sauce. So first we um, add two cloves of minced garlic and about four to five sliced sun-dried tomatoes. So a few sun-dried tomatoes came from um, oil, if they're packed in oil. I recommend um, using a little bit of paper towel to pat them dry to get rid of that excess oil. Otherwise, your sauce is just gonna be too oily. We don't need that. So we're gonna saute this just for about 30 seconds, no more than that, just to cook the garlic. And then we're gonna add one third cup of dry white wine to the sauce. And we're going to let this reduce for about five to seven minutes. What we're looking for is um, the volume of the liquid needs to go down by half. Stir it around so you deglaze the pan so all those really nice bits that were stuck to the bottom of the pan that will come up and that will flavor the sauce. So once your li liquid has gone down in volume, add heavy cream or double cream. Give it a quick stir. Allow it to warm through and then add Parmesan, uh, Parmesan cheese. So once you see that the sauce is simmering again, then you add the cheese. So it's important to salt the sauce after you add the cheese because Parmesan cheese is quite salty. So you won't actually know how much to add until you taste it. So I'm just gonna have a little taste of the sauce and it will determine how much salt it needs. Okay, so I'm gonna add some salt. 
And next, I'm gonna add fresh spinach. Spinach doesn't take very much time, it just needs to wilt. All right, now that the sauce has come together, we're gonna add the salmon back to the pan. After we bring salmon back to the pan, it needs to warm through and continue cooking because it was still slightly uncooked in the middle and it will only take about five minutes. That will also allow this sauce to thicken and reduce. After five minutes of simmering in the sauce, our salmon is done perfectly. The sauce is thick and flavorful. We are ready to eat. I'm so excited about this recipe. If you're wondering what this salmon goes well with, well, it's up to you really. But we like serving this with rice. You can serve the salmon with potatoes or even pasta. Just have the salmon on the side and use the sauce as the pasta sauce it is so delicious.